Hello and welcome to the first episode on uh, the new version of Songs of Six, version uh, number 59 or 0.59. Now, what is going to happen with the old series? I think it is not compatible with the new version. Uh, there is a lot of new stuff uh, in the game, uh, which I am really, really eager to start playing with. So we're going to be implementing everything we have learned, or at least try as far as we can. Uh, so uh, let's go over here and see uh, what is new. Uh, if we go into a random game, see even this uh, menu here is new. So we have a map. I think this is uh, the default map. Uh, but then we have um, a map like this, which I have been playing on, tried, tried a little bit uh, before uh, uh, starting recording. This is a very interesting map, which, um, which uh, I do think we're gonna be selecting. This is um, kind of similar to uh, to Europe, uh, according to uh, to Jack, the, the developer. So here you can see Norway and Sweden and a tiny little Britain here, I guess, or maybe that is Scotland has finally got uh, independence from uh, Great Britain, maybe. I don't know. And here you can see the Mediter Mediterranean. It, yeah. So so the map is going to be kind of generated on the premises of uh, this. So um, so here, for example, we can see two continents, basically, uh, with an ocean in the middle, so north and south. And here is just one giant plot of land. But this, this is exactly what I'm after. Because um, we did like the island, uh, the island life, I think. So we're going to be setting that up to a huge, huge map. That's right. Uh, we're also going to be playing on the northern side. I kind of would like to uh, to to go um, at the same difficulty level as we were before. Uh, we're going to have uh, lots of raids. If we're going to go with a, an island, let's see if we can find a bigger island, perhaps, maybe. Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Then we have a starting race. We have a new race implemented. The, Tilapi, Tilapi, Tilapi are territorial and bloodthirsty guardians of six forest. Um, are perfect suited for attending uh, forestry, animal husbandry, and uh, dispensing swift death alike. They are also no strangers to cannibalism. Hmm. So, uh, so there we go. I don't think we're gonna go down the cannibalism route. I don't think so. Anyways, let's click go, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get a interesting map. So I'm not like hundred percent sure that. Um, oh, this looks very interesting. Can we actually squeeze in here? I don't think so. So is it, I kind of think like you can see this is uh, uh, lakes. I wish you had like a way to. Um, so, so, so the way I think the map is generated. So all this is water, right? And then you see here, here as well. Oh, this is uh, basically the side of a lake, I think. And, and here as well, the river runs alongside here. It doesn't seem very logical. So I, I do think it's because lakes are also rendered as water. But but that's just my two cents on the matter. Um. Do we have any interesting places? We have lots of islands here. Lots of islands. And since we are forest people, hmm, we could have um, set up a colony here. But I kind of would like to have some more islands uh, further north. Uh, north? Uh, further north. Yeah, there we go. Speaking is important. So uh, we're going to be placing our capital. I don't think last time I tried it, it's already been a couple of updates to the game. Yeah, this doesn't. Oh, it does randomize now. All right, before it didn't randomize, so you basically have to manually put in a seed every time. Or maybe, am I wrong about this? All right, loop tefsa C, let's see. 83, does the, the randomization give a random seed? No, so we're gonna have to put in a random seed. Oh, that is weird, I, 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 do f f I do feel like the map is changing. No?
No, it doesn't give us a random seed. No, it it doesn't. So 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 we got one seed, and then it kind of just gave us one random seed, I think. So uh, so let me uh, re-roll here and see if we can find an interesting seed to um, to play with, and uh, we will be right back. Okay, so I think I found a fairly decent seed here. Uh, the seed is six hundred and fifty-eight, and we are playing in uh, this little. Um, well, I don't know what we could call a crater. There are a couple of island groups here, which I kind of feel is um, kind of fun. We're going for the island adventure. There is also a large island down here, which has several um, uh, interesting features on it, like mountains, for example. But I do think uh, we are going to be settling down on this island here. Uh, either this one or this one. Uh, let's see if we can find a place where there is... Some resources, and since we are playing the new race, the tilap tilapa, isn't that actually a fish called tilapa? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe there is. Um, I kind of would like to have a decent amount of forest, and we also would like to have um, um, disabled uh, the cotton growth, I think, because uh, the tilapi is a very animal husbandry kind of uh, race. Let's see here, what about here? So 2% clay. Oh gosh, hello kitty cat. 79% um, forests. Uh, what is the fertility? Not very much. Let's see on this island here. Um, let's see here, we have... Um, it's not quite ideal for um, for the tilapi here, but uh, I mean, that's just going to be a, an additional challenge here, right? At least we're not going to have too many pigments here, only 20%, 20% of the, the the bugman. But there aren't too many um, gems to play around with here. Hmm. But I think this one here seems to be... Um, be good. There is only 90% forest here. How about here? 51% forest. Um, no rivers, no mountains, a little bit of ocean. Only fertility is just absolutely bonkers here. 60% forest. Uh, but then again, not very many resources. And um, we kind of would like to have the, the room uh, disabled, be um, uh, the turtles, which I can't remember what they're called right now, the opiates and uh, the cotton field, because that means we can um, can use um, um, farm to, uh, to get... Um, uh, to get uh, leather and uh, farms to get uh, cotton, I think that would be an idea. I, I do think this one is better. Let's see how where was it here. Let's see what this is all about. 40% forest. A little bit of gems. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I think here would be uh, ideal. Yeah. I think that is um, is good. So we uh, we're not going to have any gems or any of the slithering ore or whatever <laughs> the ore was called. But we're going to have two percent or almost three percent uh, coal, clay, and eleven percent stone. That can potentially come in handy. Uh, now I can't remember for the life of me what type of um, structures that the lot be um, want. So uh, we're going to be um, going in here. Saying okay, and uh, oh gosh, I have a little. I, th I think Jack kind of. Uh, let's see here. He 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 he. I, I think he uh, he got me infected because now I am also sneezing. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> so uh, what we can do here, which we didn't do uh, last time, because we just pick the map and then settle down. So what we can do, we can click on this 
button here. And I really wish I knew that uh, when starting. And then we're going to have uh, all the resources and the map regenerated. So, for example, we would like to have stone and... Stone and kind of all the resources, kind of a little bit more um, put together. So we don't have situation like this is the only place where we can get coal, right? Yeah, coal. Coal is actually not like very important, but having the clay all the way over here is not. It's not quite ideal, is it? So um, so let's uh, re-roll a couple of times and see what we get. Um, like, see here, we can actually get also some uh, some fertile lands if we like. Um, we usually aren't used to that kind of luxury, having uh, fertile lands. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, roll a couple of times until we find a, a, a good uh, map to play with. Okay, so I think we have found a wiener here. A uh, winner. So we have stone here in this mountain here, which is uh, kind of alright. Uh, we have a little bit of uh, forest here, a little bit of, well, forest. We have some trees here, uh, scattered around. It's not much trees here. If we need more trees, we have a lot more to take off. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we also have a large patch of iron down here. But I, I don't think we're going to be tapping into that right away. Um, we also have some... Uh, Th Scythilon ore? Oh gosh, I don't even know how to say that. The only thing we don't have down here, it is uh, clay. Clay is way down here, so we could potentially make like a little outpost out here. But for now, I think we're going to be focusing on this area here. Because here we have stone and a little bit of wood. And that, that is uh, uh, everything we need to get started. Can we, like, sc scoot you all the way up here? Let's see here. Yeah, we'll put you right about there. Boom. So let's take a little look at our... There seems to be all... Oh, gosh, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, 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 my. I think she fell off a bike uh, in high speed, I think. Uh, same with you. What, what is going on with these people here? Oh, and also, there is new soundtracks. Um, I almost forgot to, to mention that, uh, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> Red Room. Okay, I like that. Nice little name there. So, uh, we start with livestock. 16 livestock, and we also start with 40 fruit, uh, some stone, and some uh, wood. And some rations, which is nice. Now, the interesting thing is, if we click here, there is a new button here called Titles. And you do unlock these by doing different kind of things here. Um, so, for example, if we free, what is it, a thousand slaves, we're going to get a 5% happiness. So, when you restart the game, uh, these... Uh, achievements are going to follow you to the next one. So, um, uh, the great, for example, by having many people following and love you. Oh, gosh, I wish I had so many people following me and loving me. That would have been great. Um, the leader. So, so, uh, settle. Plus 450%. Okay. So, does that mean we get a better start? I think. Uh, the visual effects. That is basically our flag. I wonder if we should... Let's see here. If we can... Uh, do something with that uh, in the future. Uh, but uh, we, we, this is kind of how our uh, flag looks right now. Uh, ruler's name. Oh, he's of course going to be Hannibal. And... Um, the faction's name, it's gonna be the tribe of Hannibal. There we go. Alright. Gonna have to uh, focus on the most important thing. Here we can see our um, our bonuses. So we have a little bit of bonus to hunting. We have a little bit of bonus to fishing. And we have um, carry capacity. None. Okay. And um, 
to the chagrin, they have kind of relocated uh, the, the buildings a little bit. They, it's a lot better. So, if, uh, pillars. Was that always a thing? Is that new? I can't remember ever placing down a pillar. Huh. Um, torches. So, um, that kind of works the way you usually go in. Infrastructure, then we have building outposts, janitors, military, law, and knowledge. And you also see we have school and library. No, sorry, schools and university. And that is going to affect another status here called loyalty. Uh, the overall loyalty of your citizens, uh, the goal of uh, many. Uh, of any despot is to keep his. Uh, this high. So. Uh, happiness is a big factor, but uh, other means... Okay, so basically, there is um, another bar we're gonna have to pay attention to. Now, uh, let's have a look and see what these people actually like. So, the Talapi were created in eons past to guard an ancient and mighty uh, barrier forest. The border between uh, the granted dominion of the Astar's children and the forbidden lands beyond, created for this purpose, the Tilapi, uh, Tilapi are extremely territorial and quick to pass judgment. However, they are blessed with great compassion for Sixes flora and fauna. So, rarity 30%, I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, it doesn't seem like they go very well together with uh, the Dondorians. Um, so let's see here. Cold. Ooh, we, we, <laughs> we have settled in the coldest of places and they have uh, not very good um, cold. Um, yeah. Uh, they do prefer uh, forest. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to struggle again with this, but then that's, uh, that's uh, what I kind of like playing games, having a little bit of a challenge. Um, what I'm kind of am looking at here is see roundness. Okay, so they would like to have round buildings and they don't like square buildings. So kind of if we build a building, let's just find a random building here. Uh, Hunter Lodge, for example. So you can see the shape here that needs to be kind of in the middle. So, yeah, okay, so, so they got to get a little bit of happiness if it is kind of on that side. So we might actually want to, uh, to keep that um, organic uh, feel to our buildings like we did in the beginning of the humans but but okay uh, let's see here how are we gonna start with this um, uh, region I think we're gonna be starting off with putting down um, a hunt no not a hunter let's put down some pig piglets some pig, pig piggy wiggies uh, that's that's gonna be a good source of food um, let's see here one two also, that is also new. So if you just hold down uh, uh, right click, you get like a measurement tool, which is absolutely fantastic. I thought it was some kind of bug in the beginning because I, I, I didn't see it. But yeah, if you hold down right, right click, uh, you can kind of measure a thing, which is absolutely a nice thing to have. So three here and here and then down here is where we're going to be placing our first little pig pen. Um, again, already starting to mess up where the th things are. So that is not... So one, two, three, it's gonna be here, right? All right, so I kind of would like to have this be um, a fairly big area. Let's see, we're gonna have five limestocks in here. Two workers. Uh, workers are going to be uh, a little bit of uh, an issue. I kind of would like to get to the point where we 
kind of can utilize those two workers as much as possible. So, if we get three workers here, we'll... Uh, we'll reduce the size of the pen here. Can we perhaps just do that? Yeah. Uh, it's also going to require... Well, we're probably going to be using... Well, we'll see. Can we get another layer down here? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is it because they are... Yeah, I think that is it. So if I remove this, because that... It has something to do with... Um, with um, where... The piglets can kind of go and, and get food, right? So here we have two workers if we... Because they can't go and, and, and grass on the sand here, right? So maybe we'll um, uh, shorten this one down and bring this one out a little bit. I think that makes sense. It's it's almost like the, the foresters. You can make a gigantic forest um, area. Let's say, for example, we have a forester area and we make it like that. It's only going to count uh, the amount of workers you need to fell these three trees there. Um, okay, that is too much. Okay, we might actually have have the things that we need here. Let's see here. Let's remove you and you and make sure that we have the round roundness uh, thing going. see here are we getting any closer to um, there we go so it should be round enough I, I mean we don't have to make it perfect I'm not quite sure if it if it matters with um, like buildings they don't live in but uh, who knows maybe all right there we go so it's gonna cost us 12 livestock and two workers 69 wood perfect <laughs> All right, grow up now. All right, so that is the food aspect of things. We also have some. Um, we also have some uh, some fruit here, and I want to get those into the ground as well. So let's uh, utilize this area here. It's only thirty. Well, it's not very fertile land, but if we go and look into um, uh, procreation here, uh, excuse me. Let's see here. Where did you go? Simics, procreation, and tilapi. So we're going to be using fruits. So not a bottle of wine like I wanted it to be, but okay. So one one fruit equals like yeah, it's it's going to require food to to keep them alive. Same with the the humans. Going to give them some food. Um, the uh, garthami. They're going to need. Um, Meat and Cretonians, are they going to need vegetables? Because, you know, pig, pigs uh, or something. All right. So we have that taken care of. And we also would like to have... Because we only have 10 workers. And I think they have done something with the amount of workers we get. So let's get some of those in here. Now this is... we're gonna have to take a look at the workers. I kind of would like to... Well, let's make this also a little bit round. Uh, is this gonna be big enough or is it to... Alright, so it's um, almost two workers. If we do that, is this going to be two workers? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we have already used four workers. Um, and then we're also going to have to get some wood production going. And I, I kind of feel like this entire forest here is going to be uh, included in our forest working area. Uh, we are probably just going to lower the amount of workers that we utilize here. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I kind of also would have been nice to get some fish. Even though fish is not like their main source of food. Their main source of food or well, their preferred food is meat, bread, fruit and vegetables. And they also, oh, they do like you know, living in wooden structures. So wood is going to be very, very important for us. Uh, it's going to be the most important resource. We're probably going to be making a stone thing here just to uh, to get a little bit of stone because we're probably going to need some stone to maintain some of our buildings, right? So, um, so yeah, let me uh, map out this uh, little forest area here. All right, so um, let's just pop down the storage uh, facility here. There we go. And uh, click go. This is going to require six workers. Um, but we're not going to be utilizing all of the workers, I think. Uh, what we also could have done. Uh, this is not like the most... Um, well, we'll just have it being done, I think. I think that would be a good idea. I think eventually we will remove this building here. They, they weren't too fan, fond of... Uh, of uh, great buildings. Right. Um, grand buildings, not great buildings. Grand buildings, only 30%. So, uh, so yeah. That is um, what we're going to do. Uh, are they... Uh, oh, we already got a new... Uh, um, Tilapi. Right. Tilapi. Yeah, I, th I think that is how you say it. Tilapi. And I kind of feel like that is like a, uh, a fish. I, I'm going to have to Google that after this episode if tilapia is a fish. <laughs> I'm fairly certain it is. All right, there we go. And that's uh, another one. Maybe they're fish people. Forest fish. All right, our very first... Um, are we going to have some issues here? Cause farms and um, yeah, we might have to put up a hunter lodge as well. Uh, is there many? Well, there is a couple living in the forest here, so we might have to put up like a little f f uh, hunter lodge as well. I think that could be cool. I think that could be cool. Oh, come on, finish it up, please. You have all the 69 woods you need, so um, get building, please. And boom, there we go. Our little... How many animals could we place in here? 12? Okie dokie, here they come. Piggy wiggies across the board. And we already have one person working here. Wasn't there supposed to be two here? Farmers, one point. Okay, let's stick in two here. Uh, we already have two more people joining. That is nice. Uh, let's also set up like a little hunting lodge. I think we're going to be expanding down here. So that means we can grab these sort of trees here as well. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll build... Our residential area here. It's gonna be uh, a little bit of. Um, and there is actually. Yeah, we're probably gonna be utilizing this area here first. This is the, all the iron we had. Oh, a lot of coal. Uh, I don't think iron is gonna be an issue when I think about it. I mean, we have iron here. And, um, hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's set up. Let's set up a little bit of a... 
of a residential area. I just want to see the noise range. It's probably going to be a lot more from this. So maybe we'll set up like a little... Let's keep that on. Wait, is this a noise from the wood cutting area? Yeah, I think so. All right, we'll set up a little residential area here in the in the outskirts of these trees here, because the tilapi they 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 like their little uh, thing, don't they? Uh, one thing we don't have here is um, okay. We'll um, shrink down the forest area here, like so. So we can give them a little bit of uh, uh, irrigation here. Irrigation is probably under dig channel. That should be should be more than enough, right? Just so we can get something out of this. Uh, how much are we doing? Oh, well, food. We don't have a warehouse yet. We do have some rations. Uh, we still have three more livestock we could put in somewhere. Um, but yeah, let's uh, build a little residential area because we're gonna we're gonna be needing that. And I, I think we're gonna go with. Uh, uh, I showed off in the previous season uh, what we had done on live stream. So we kind of made like circular buildings, kind of interacting with each other. So I think that is um, a fairly interesting thing we can do here. So, we're gonna need, the first thing we're gonna need is gonna be a, a woodcutter, right? Uh, let's see here, that is under, not a woodcutter, I, I, I do mean um, a carpenter. So, uh, let's do something like that. Oh gosh, that is not quite what I wanted to do. Like that. Um, and also surrounded with. Is that going to be a little bit? I I, th I think we'll make it uh, by hand. So. Structures, where did you go? There you are. Wooden structures, please. So we'll make it by hand. So it's 10 by 10. I mean, it doesn't need to be the biggest thing in the galaxy, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's, it's definitely a little bit easier. To, they, they also have done something with. Uh, the coloring now it seems like so it's probably a little bit easier to see uh, what we're doing here all right so that's gonna be the first building let's also remove the noise overlay because the no noise overlay is probably gonna be a little bit problematic uh, we have 14 let's get one more how many more of these do we have three? I kind of would like to make another one. Maybe up here. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, they do like their piggies, right? It's just going to be one worker. Could potentially bring it up a little bit more. Still just one worker. Two workers. Still 
Still two workers. Okay, what if we remove that? Can we get like the magical one worker? There we go. That is the magical number. The shape should be fine. Let's have the gate going down here. Because I think we, we since we're going to have like a little bit of an organic feel to the village. I think um, that is going to be okay. I don't think we're going to be putting more than 15 in here right now. Because we're going to be struggling with food. I would imagine. Uh, by the way... Um, population. I saw something. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, now we did. Well, we did it. That's not good. So, we can set this to have, for example... Let's pause this. So, for example, we can do that. So, we will automatically let people in. 40,000 people in here, for example. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Uh, that we let in two more people, that could potentially be a, a fairly problematic aspect to the start of the game. Uh, let's see, how many... Okay, there's six people working here. So hopefully we're going to get a, a little bit of, um, of wood production going here. I also wonder if we should set in a little hearth here, because uh, temperatures might be a little bit... Oh gosh, where is... There it is. So, um, so yeah, basically because the temperature might be a little bit um, cold here uh, during the winter. I mean, it's summer is only 25 degrees. So they're going to be campsite people. Is it me, or are they working slower than the humans? Oh gosh, what was that? Okay, so... That is quite interesting. If I... Click one more on the... On the, the speed that we are... Using, we're gonna get like a super duper speed, it seems like. Oh my. Alright, let's, let's be careful with that. Uh, you need wood, I would imagine. Um, and how are we doing when it comes to food? Because, let's see here, we have 13 meat here. And this hasn't been built yet. I kind of don't want to start... Well, we could try and manually chop down some trees here. Fell trees. There we go. Uh, maybe we'll... Uh, I'm not quite sure. Let's let's remove some of them just in case. Just in case. Uh, smart remove. Ooh, okay. Delete job. Just in case uh, they they won't respawn if they don't have other trees nearby. I, I don't think that is the case, but just in case. Never be too sure. I mean, it's a new update, so things might have changed. I think we're also going to be making a little bit of a fishing pier. I, I know it is not like the best um, source of food, but it's a constant source of food, and that is kind of um, what I'm thinking here. So, um, so if we've learned something from playing with uh, the human settlement, constant food is, is better than no food. Even though it's uh, it's a little bit of a yuck, yucky food for the, the tilapi. It's not their preferred food. And this doesn't need to be... Um, like super duper big, does it? Uh, efficiency. Can we get you... Oh, come on. 95. Give me a break. 100. There we go. So, I don't think we're gonna need more than that. Means we're gonna need some more... stone. I would imagine. 
How are we doing on stone? Well, we kind of don't need stone for that. But yeah, fish is going to be like our emergency food. Um, oh, you weren't dead yet. You were just taking a little bath. That's nice. That's okay. You can take a little bath. So... I wonder if we should just wait until they have finished off these buildings here. Yeah, let's do that. All right, just uh, a little bit of time and uh, they built this little building here, uh, which we're going to be... Let's just have the game running in slow time because they're still not done with the fishing pier. Um, we're going to be adding in... Oh man, what was it? Crafting and... Carpentry. So uh, let's do that. Going to need a workbench. Can we fit one in here? Let's... Uh, Let's do something like that, because we're also going to need some auxiliaries in here. Already up to 100%, so we can have three carpenters in here. I don't think we can fit in anymore. These are four, so that's going to block the door entrance. Could have squeezed one in here, but... But you know. Alright, let's see here. They're done here, minus... A lot of workers. Let's uh, bring that down to um, just have some people working here. One one person, okay. But yeah, the the, the thing here, this is going to be producing constant food. Okay, so I think we can do that and get in some more people. So I don't think we're going to go over. F 50, I think. Let's see. Uh, do we have enough uh, stones in here? Yeah, we should have enough stones. And then we're going to be making our first little residential area. Could also start hooking up some roads, but I... I think we'll wait a little bit with that. And also we're going to be... Uh, oh, they're already building it. Excellent. We're also going to be adding in um, a trade a lot earlier than we did last time, I think. And we're just going to be... We're going to do like we did before. We're going to just skim the top of the warehouse when we get the warehouse up and running. Already lost some people. We'll just uh, take them from the fishery. So you can just see we already have some fish here. And we also have uh, some food here. But they do spoil quicker if they're not in the warehouse, I, I do believe. Uh, we don't need six people working here. Like, one should be more than enough. Okay. And then we're going to be adding in our first little residential area. So, let's add in... Uh, the bedrooms, perhaps. Structures. Wooden buildings. And let's make it 10 by 10. I mean, it doesn't need to be big, it just needs to function, right? So we'll have the entrance here. Just so they have like their initial little place to live. Um, we're also going to need to have... I kind of wonder if we should also add in a warehouse here. By the way, how is the noise? It's doing fine. Um, so that's going to be their home. Their sleeping tent or whatever you like to call it. And then we're going to be adding in wooden buildings can add in one more uh, I'm just trying to think how I would like this to be so this is one two three four five six five six
then we'll just fill in this. Needs to be one further out. Why does this look so bad? Give me one second here. <laughs> okay, so we'll start from here. Six, one, and then you go in here. Six, and then one, two, and then down here. So that is a circle, kinda. And then we would like to have a little entry path there. Like so. And I think we're also going to be adding in another building here. This could be, let's say, eight. wonder if we would like to have the entrance on top here instead. Yeah, I think that would be an ideal. Like so. And then, well, we'll see how we'll, we'll make this. But as long as we get okay, uh, let's just build that. It's going to take a little bit of time to get that one built. So bedroom, toilet, and a little warehouse. Is there anything else we need? We, we probably need like a little cemetery just to uh, to keep them happy. Um, how are we going to do that? I have an idea. I have an idea. Graves. Uh, we don't need crypts, but we're going to need regular graves. So seven, 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 mm. let's move it a little bit further away. So, because then we can add in like a, a fence around here, which doesn't kind of make it look weird here. But we could actually, that could, that could actually be, be a thing. So that's just going to be a little bit smaller. It doesn't matter, it's just going to be like a tiny little area, because then we could add a fence around here, right? Can we fit graves in here? Uh, yes, we can. And let's also get some trees. I kind of feel like trees would be appropriate. Uh, already 100%, but let's uh, let's just 
put down some flowers here as well. I think that would be nice. All right, not too many stones. I think we're going to have to tell... Yeah, people are getting unhappy. That is not good. Loyalty is falling down. I think it's because we don't have a warehouse. So what we're going to do, we're going to be quickly adding in a temporary warehouse. That probably means we're going to have to move the throne. Oh, there we go. So they can sit here and watch the campfire here. Well, that's kind of a little bit cute, isn't it? Uh, warehouse. That is probably under logistics, right? So we'll make a temporary warehouse here. Like so. And I think that means we're going to have to... Um, Suspend this job here. Go, go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, 40. Uh, we might actually need some more wood. We don't have any wood gathered up here, I think. Ah, uh, well, we have some wood lying around up here. That we can... Um, can get going. So, I wonder what affects the, the loyalty. Indoctrination. Education. Soldiers, armies, royal race. Well, we'll see. I do hope we have enough um, stuff laying around here. Uh, they stopped complaining for some reason. Maybe they didn't like this um, area we were building here. Maybe that was their, what they were complaining about. Let's click one more. See them work a little bit quicker. Oh gosh, this is lightning fast. Uh, we're going to need some more wood. I think that is the whole, whole problem here. Let's get those. There we go. And let's uh, start. We'll put in some employee here. We'll have one crate of uh, you. We'll have one crate of you. We're going to have one crate of you. Uh, one crate of you. One crate of you. Uh, we are only producing meat here, right? We're not producing any, any byproduct like um, leather or or um, wool or cotton. Uh, we can put one crate for you. Yeah, I think that is good. So let's see here. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of food now. That is nice. So food stored. So we have... Yeah, I think that should be fine. So that makes them a little bit more happier. I think that was the entire... Entire thing. But, uh, but yeah, I do wonder if we have kind of gone overboard a little bit when it comes to time on the first episode. I'm not quite sure because we have uh, made a couple of cuts here and there. So, uh, so yeah, I think we'll call it an episode. And I just want to say, again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and keep smiling. <laughs>